Hey, I'm Walter. If it's the first time to the channel, I like to go to trade shows to record interviews. After every trade show, I try to make adjustments based upon things that cause me issues. One of the issues I had at Cinego Expo is to quickly get exposure on people. It was a bright sunny day. I couldn't really see the back of my LCD screen. So I went to Lens Porto Grow, which is in Concord, Massachusetts. They work with Lens Rentals. And I rented for a few days the Ultra 5. Ultra 5 has 3,000 nits. One of the things I did when I went to Vegas was I went out to the desert to do a little video with Nisi filters and I could not see the back of the LCD screen. So with the 3,000 nits, I believe this will give me a good opportunity to see. The reason why I'm looking at the small HD Ultra, besides the 3,000 nits, is that they use the EL system for exposure, which is something that I know from the zone system back in the day, 18% gray. So we have a gray card, 18% gray. It used to be last light, but it's Manfrotto. And the 18% gray shows yellow. It shows light, it shows yellow on the bottom which is a half over. This is light yellow, which is one stop over. And this is orange, and orange means two stops over. I did a color gray card to the FX30. All three cameras, well, one camera plus the Mix Pre 3 and the FX3, Plus I have a tentacle track E in my pocket, along with the Sony wireless audio going to the FX3. All time code with the tentacle syncs. We have a light meter from Sekonic. And one of the things I thought of when I was trying to do uh, earlier takes was this is measuring just the light based upon shutter speed and ISO, which gets me F10. If I was doing photography, I would be able to use this to meter the scene, but we are using S-Log3, S-Cinetone3, and that's one of the cool things about the small HD is it has a thing called pipe. In the pipe, which I'll show on the FX30 camera, you're able to go to settings, log Sony S gamut Cine, S log three is a curve. So you have to set the pipe. In the pipe, after you do the pipe, then you can utilize the EL system, which is what we have here. So we are, we are at 100% power on the Forza 200 going through a soft box. I have two Nanlite Pava tubes lying in the background, which is orange. I have a Ninja V. I have Sony audio in my pocket, along with the Track E. Doing a little, uh, Sony audio is going directly into the FX3, but also outputting to the sound devices Mix Pre 3. So on the gray card, it shows orange. Orange is plus two. So we are at, looking straight ahead, the camera, the small HD is showing orange, which is two pluses. I'm going to leave this here. And then I'm going to, so orange is plus two overexposed. I'm going to go from five, six to F eight.
F8 is showing gray, which is 18%, yellow, which is a half, and this is, so ye yellow is a half, gray is 18%, and green is half under. Softbox is a 44 inch. My first time really using this. My face is red here, which hopefully it shows up on the FX30. Looking at the camera, my cheeks, it looks like it's red, which would be plus four. Uh, beard is green, light green to dark green. Shirt is hanging down. Audio in my pocket. I was using a light meter. Dome in. That's F11, F11, 12.7 on the hat. Ten on my shirt. Where it shows red is F11. And orange, red, red is plus four. Green is minus a half. Gray card. Gray card shows based on how I rotate it. So it's yellow, which is a half over, but it also has some gray, uh, gray in it too, which is sort of cool. I'm not sure, I haven't seen anybody else do this. So I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do, but this is 18% gray, which takes into account just 18% gray in that skin tone. So we have an 18% gray card. It is showing yellow. Yellow is a half over. half over, so it's not taking into account anything besides 18% gray. So this should be, if I'm using the gray card without skin tone, which would be a pretty cool way of doing it, and shutter 60, ISO 800, F10, dome is in, putting the dome out now. So F10, ISO 860. Now it's showing gray. Hopefully it's showing up on the FX30. Gray, 18% gray, green, light green, which is a half stop under, and then yellow, which is a half, so it looks like we should have perfect exposure. F11, so this is just measuring the light. The small HD is measuring uh, the zone system based upon the S-Log3, s City Tone 3 Having the gray card, which does, which takes no account of skin tones, is pretty much perfect, right? What are your thoughts? Let me know what you're thinking about this, because I haven't really seen a video about the Ultra 5, which is the newest smart series from Small HD. I like the, I'm gonna, when I'm done doing this, I'm gonna bring it around so we can see it. But I like the Ultra 5, because of the 3,000 nits, also has three buttons, F1, 2, and 3, and a little toggle on the front, which is sort of cool. Same size screen as the other Ultra, as the other Smart 5s, uh, but it has 3,000 nits. If I use the gray card on the person's face, we can do a custom gray card balance on the camera, and then at the same time, if I 
own, which I do not, which I hope to own the small HD Ultra someday, is quickly being able to make sure the exposure, as we can see from the FX30, we have gray, yellow, green on the EL zone system with the pipe, they call it a pipe, which basically tells the small HD Ultra 5 what camera you are using. We are using a Sony FX3 with S Cine Tone, S Log 3 Cine. I just did a color balance custom with the FX30, which is behind, FX3 in the front. The EL zone is showing yellow, gray, and green. Direct sunlight. Hopefully it looks good. We're, we are at Lens Portigo in Concord, Massachusetts, dropping off my rental of the small HD Ultra 5. I wanted to do an outside test because this is one of the main reasons why I would want the Ultra 5 with the 3,000 nits. I can't see the back of my LCD on my FX3. The Small HD Ultra, I can see without question. Also, we can see, hopefully, it's showing green, yellow, and gray. So with the proper white balance exposure, hopefully it looks snappy. And I can see my face is uh, shadow and sun. Well, it's not good lighting. Just uh, wanted to get the last second of video, hopefully demonstrating why I personally love the EL zone system. Okay, so I rented it. I hope to someday own it. I think it would be really good for my workflow during trade shows. I think I would try to either have an HDMI cable coming out the bottom where if I have HDMI cables on main camera FX3, an HDMI coming out the FX30, and an HDMI coming out the A7R5, uh, maybe I would be able to plug them in quickly. But I think if I have the settings, I still have to do a gray card on each camera, which I'll do which I should.